Hey guys, so today I'm here for Top 5 Tuesday and today's theme is sort of a theme that I've already done before but I just didn't realise until I was looking back from my book like, oh. So the theme is books that I wish had a sequel but I've actually before done standalones which I wish had a sequel and this is sort of the same thing because all of the books I've got here a standalone so I'm sort of doing the same thing sort of doing the same thing but probably like over a year later so I'm excited I actually have only got two books in this list that are the same as the one in the previous list that I've done before so I'm excited to get going. Number five on my list is Illusions of Fate by Kirsten Wine and just because this book had a really interesting premise and a really interesting idea it's just very very small and this is all I'm gonna get. I want to know more about Jessamine and Finn and about their world and I'd love a sequel to this and for it to be only like 250 50 pages I didn't get enough and I feel like it is a little bit incomplete like it's a good book but just know that there isn't a sequel so you can't get attached as much to this one because you know that you're not going to get anything else from it but I think it's great and I love the cover and I just really felt that because of the small size of this book and how interesting it was that it deserved to have more. Number four on my list is Heartless by Marissa Meyer and I know this is like a villain's backstory so it talks about how they became a villain but I would have loved another book about how she really solidified herself as the Red Queen like you got a little like snippet of it at the end of this one but like having more would have been so great and a sequel so that you could see how her life goes from there and then maybe even meeting Alice and like having it in the point of view of the Red Queen trying to defeat this person who's come into her court so I would absolutely love to have a sequel of this because this book was amazing as well and I loved it all and all the characters are great so definitely would love a sequel. Number three on my list is Iron Cast by Destiny Soria. I would love a sequel to this because even though the book did end it, it still had the potential to have more books in this like it could have been a duology. I love that it's a standalone and it's been amazing but I would seriously love so much if there was more with this world. I love Corinne and Ada, they are such great characters and the powers that they have are so cool and about me like if they've traveled around and saw different powers and have a different villain and different stuff going on it would have been so awesome and I would absolutely love having a sequel to this and to have more because like I love everything about it. Number two on my list is Forbidden by Siri James and Ryan M. James and I've talked about this countless times about the fact that it needs to be a sequel and the authors even said that they might write one but that was years ago so please give it to me because I would absolutely love to see more of this because this book did not end. It did not end. It is a great standalone in a sense but it's not really because it's still there's still more to the story that needs to be evolved and talked about and found out so I definitely want a sequel to this and I read it so long ago and it's just killing me like I just I just want to know more about my babies because I absolutely love this book and I recommend it totally. It's a great angel book. And number one if you have not guessed it already and that is The Night Circus by Erin Morganson. This is my favorite standalone and my favorite book of all time but I just love this world so much that I want a sequel so I can go back into it. Like, I think having, like, the next generation of magicians in the Night Circus or in the other characters, like, it doesn't have to be about the main characters in this book, but just, like, spin-off series and, like, sequels, because, like, a direct sequel probably would not work, but, like, having more... Just, just, just the circuses and just like, if I had a book about every single character, I would be like, yes, give it to me. But definitely, The Night Circus is just such a magical and beautiful world and book and the writing. And just, I just want to go back into this book and it's like, this is the book that I wish I could read again for the first time. But I'm going to read it a second time really soon, hopefully. I don't know, there's a lot of books that I've got to read at the moment and I'm sort of doubting that I'm going to get to most of my goals, so... I think rereads probably aren't in the cards for this year so maybe next year I can get to reading this book and having a really fun time because it's the best thing ever. But yes, here is my pile of top five books that I wish had a sequel. I love all these books so much and they're so sad that they're all standalones because like they're so amazing. Like it's crazy how you can get so many series that are just shit but there's more books but then you get these amazing standalones and they don't give you any more and it's like wow, why do you do this to me? But yes absolutely love all of these. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!